What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. Yesterday we had an amazing episode. We picked up our first legendary Pokemon. I will not spoil what it was. Okay, just kidding. It, I will. It's Lugia. Uh, we got Lugia. We Master Balled it. It's sitting in the PC waiting for us to swap it out for something on our team. I don't know what yet. I'll be honest. I really like our team. But I do have a hunch as to who I am thinking, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's very quickly recap our team. We have, kicking us off, level th uh, 54, excuse me, Parish, our Bayonet with Knockoff, Shadow Ball, Faint Attack, and Nightshade. We have Panda with Strength, Hidden Power, Dragon, Psychic, and Brick Break. We have Church, our newest member of the team, uh, with Thrash, Sandstorm, Crunch, and Rock Slide. We have George with Thunder, Double Kick, Pin Missile, and Quick Attack. We got Tommy, our Ludicolo, with Surf, Bullet Seed, Fake Out, and Thief. And then last but not least, we have our Crimson Typhlosion with Overheat, Cut, Flame Wheel, and Swift. Uh, part of me, I'll be honest, uh, I, I kind of don't want to swap things out. I really like our team, uh, so I'm, I'm debating. That's still up in the air uh, if we actually end up, you know, swapping those Pokemon out or not. But uh, I very much like our team, I'll be honest. I think it's a pretty solid one. Uh, I do have a little bit, because last episode we took a lot of time uh, just trying to get out, or get down to Articuno, so we're going to try and make this quick to get out of here if we can stop running into Pokemon. Um, so I have a guide up, and then we are going to head to Cinnabar Island, which is really exciting. Uh, okay, so surf to the, near the stairway near the boulders and climb uh, to the nearest ladder, so... I mean, I'm assuming it's this one. Uh, loop around to the east. Sure, that makes total sense. Okay, uh, and then let's see, surf to the opposite shore. Ah, I see, climb the next. Okay, all right, I think I know what, I do, what to do. That's helpful, actually. That's very helpful. I really hope this is correct. All right, we are gonna get out of here. We are gonna head to Cinnabar Island. We got a few things to do before we can challenge Blaine for our seventh gym badge, but we are, we're kind of getting pretty far in this game, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very happy with the, the progress that we made. Don't want to lose the game by any means, but uh, we have made it very, very far, and I'm very, very proud of that, I will say. So we'll push through. We'll see if we can make it to Cinnabar Island. Hopefully get our, uh, we've got two actually fossil Pokemon. Uh, we'll climb this ladder, climb this ladder, yes, look at that, we made it, guys, we made it. Alright, so we do have to make it still to Cinnabar Island, there are quite a lot of trainers on the way. Yesterday we kind of got lucky, we didn't actually have much to worry about, uh, and we didn't end up running into most of those trainers, so we will see. I don't think this is a new route, so I'm not going to catch this, not 100% positive, but this is, I think, still Route 20 West, uh, so... Ah, we got a trainer. All right, let's do it. Let's get them out of here. Uh, who is it? Trainer Esteban would like to battle. All right, uh, guys, just a quick heads up. We had some really fun videos go up on the channel uh, over the last couple days. Obviously, Thursday, we had our Time Spiral Remastered double box opening with some amazing hits in it. Uh, not only did we get things like Thoughtseize, uh, we also got uh, True Name Nemesis, which is one of my personal favorites. I completely forgot what they said they were going into. I'm just going to stay in. Um, we got... Oh, it's a Spinda. Uh, yeah, we'll just Shadow... Uh, doesn't affect. Whoops. Um, teeter Dance. Okay, we'll swap out. We'll just go into uh, uh, Panda here. Um... But yeah, we had like a, a really solid couple of boxes. I'm very happy with the pulls that we had. Um, I like them a lot, obviously. Uh, and then we also, in yesterday's card hunt, uh, finally, after I think it was six weeks, six weeks of opening up Kaldheim uh, product, we finally, finally hit our Vorinclex and we're able to give that away to Garrett, who uh, has really been a longtime supporter of the stream, so it's a, a real pleasure to be able to give it away, give it away to somebody who, uh, uh, no, don't want that, somebody who really does support the stream. Um, it's just a huge pleasure. Uh, everybody who came out to support, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. A lot of you came out to support, uh, which was incredible. 
Uh, and so I'm, I'm very fortunate to have such a great community, and you guys are amazing, as always. So thank you, thank you. Really do appreciate it. Uh, we will be jumping back into some more magic content, so we have been looking at our network um, and kind of doing the best we can to troubleshoot what's going on there. Hopefully, we have remedied the situation. We didn't have any issues uh, on Friday, so I'm very happy about that, but we will see. Um, but regardless, we will be jumping back into much more magic content, uh, in the next week, so, uh, thank you guys for remaining patient, but I hope you're enjoying this, this little mini-series. I, I do have plans to keep this going, probably not at the same, like, two-a-day rate. Um, unfortunately, it is a lot of work to record and stream. Uh, it was kind of nice on our, our, like, week or so, week or two off of streaming. It was kind of nice to have this to go to. Um, because I could just sit down and do it, and I still love just sitting down and doing it. We're gonna keep doing it for sure, but we'll probably take a short break before jumping into the next one, and then of course we will, uh, try and take our time a little bit and maybe not rush through quite as often. But here we go, guys. We have made it officially to Cinnabar Island. Look at that. We did it. We did it. Uh, before we do any kind of party switch up, before we do any of that, I think what we're gonna do this episode, it may be a bit of a shorter one, but we're gonna try and get just all the encounters that we can get in this little area, I think we need to get. There are quite a lot to be had, I'll be honest. So let's start by going down here. I believe it's the last room, not sure. Uh, is it this guy? Hiya, I'm a, <laughs> I am important doctor. Yes, very much so indeed. Here, I study rare Pokemon fossils all the time. I study. You have a fossil for me. Yes. Helix fossil. It's a Sceptile. Uh, yeah. That's pretty good. A Sceptile, huh? Uh, alright. So I think if we just leave the room and come back, or do we have to leave, like, the building? Oh, okay. Uh, alright. We received the Sceptile. Do you want to give a nickname to Sceptile? I do. Who do we want to... What do we want to name Sceptile here? Uh, again, because I'm so good at planning. <laughs> I did not pull up comments or anything like that, so let's just go take a quick peek. Uh, because we do have a lot of really awesome people supporting the, the channel. I really do appreciate it. Is it a male? It is a male. Uh, you know what? Ivan, I know uh, you commented on our... Uh, our uh, Time Spiral Remastered box opening, but I really appreciate it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna name him Ivan. So we got an Ivan. Uh, Alright. We got one more fossil, though, to get, so let's see. A Gligar. A uh, little less exciting, I'll be honest. Gligar's a very cool Pokemon, but not one that I really plan to like, use, if that makes sense. Not that it's bad. Um, but, alright. We gotta find a name for this one as well. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay. I got a name. We're gonna call this Horn. Uh, for Dominic, who also commented on our Time Spiral Remastered, uh, box opening or double box opening. Thank you again to Dominic. Uh, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for supporting our, our little community here. Uh, it's really nice to be here. Alright, so we've got two encounters down. We've got an encounter right here. Let's see what it is. Uh, nothing. Okay. This is our Cinnabar Island encounter, officially. So let's see if we can get it. And then we do have the Haunted Mansion as well. Pokemon's on the hook. Let's see what it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call dupes. Garrett, I'm sorry, we have had you so often, but I can't, I can't, in, in, in good faith, I cannot do it, a Milotic. Now that, uh, oh, it's level 16. How in the world are we going to catch this thing? Um, I want to say the Safari Ball might be 100% catch rate. I might be wrong, but that would be really cool. Water sport, that's fine. I'm just gonna throw a few ultra balls. We'll set a limit of five. I think five is a good number. Uh, just because it's gonna be really tricky to catch this thing and I can't damage it. I should have taken a Pokemon out or something like that, but 
Okay, or <laughs> we're just gonna get it. Uh, I did not think that would happen, uh, but I'm very happy it did. So let's go back, let's find another commenter. Uh, man, we're getting all the encounters today. I love it. All right, let's go. <laughs> all right, I like this. We're gonna name it Futon for Futon Trooper. Uh, who was very sweet, uh, commenting a about a week ago uh, on one of our gameplay videos saying, congratulations for your marriage. Thank you so much. We are not quite married yet, but we are working on it. I am very excited to be marrying such an amazing person. She is obviously very supportive, and I really appreciate that. So thank you. Thank you, Futon. Really appreciate it. And welcome to the squad. That's three encounters, guys. Three encounters down. We got one more to go really quickly. Uh, I am gonna pick up another 10 Ultra Balls just in case. Really don't need a ton of Pokemon at this point, uh, just because we're getting kind of close to the to the tail end of this game here, but we do have the Haunted Mansion here. We can actually kind of start pushing through the Haunted Mansion. We may not get all the way through it today, but uh, we do have an opportunity here to do a good bit. So let's see what we get, and it's a Bellsprout. I mean, it's a Pokemon. I really don't like Bellsprout, but here we are. If this doesn't kill, we'll try and catch it. Oh, of course you're gonna poison, you douche. Uh, okay. Um, I do have a very good name for this though. And they are a stream supporter, so I feel like it's a, it's a worthwhile name. But I think this is gonna be the last encounter. That's four encounters in one episode? That's really good, and we caught them all. <laughs> I mean, granted, two of them we didn't have to, but, like, that's very good. All right, Bellsprout added to the Pokedex. Love it. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, we're calling you Lamp, uh, because your head looks like a lamp. Uh, but in particular because Lamp has been a huge supporter of the stream as well. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate the, uh, amazing support, guys. It's been incredible. So, let's do that. Let's heal up, and let's just fight through a little bit here. Um, like I said, we may not get all the way through, uh, but that does leave us open for the next episode. I am going to kind of explore just a bit, because there are, again, items in here are very, very helpful, so let's give it a shot. C-Dot. Uh, I think I would have rather had C-Dot, to be honest. Still could have called it Lamp, too. A Blue Flute. I think we already have the Blue Flute. Uh, let's go down this way. And see what we find. An Azuril. Okay, well, that could have been worse then. <laughs> Azuril is garbage. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Uh, what we got? Tentacru uh, cool. excuse me. Again, not very exciting. I'm, I'm actually okay with Bellsprout, <laughs> given the other options. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy. All right. Let's do it. Uh, we... Really should have bought repels. Maybe that's something we go find really quick is some repels. I think that could be a very beneficial idea. Because um, repels would just make this go by so much faster. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go see if we can pick some up. I don't know if we can, I'll be honest. Ninjask would, be, would have been kind of cool. We can't escape. Oh no. Uh, that does nothing. <laughs> Speed boost. Oh no, we're dead. No, come on. Oh my gosh, it's setting up. All right, we're just gonna kill this thing. Just, just die. Just do it. Just shadow ball. All that for a screech. Worth it. All right, shadow ball this thing out of here. I think we have an escape rope. <clears throat> we might use the escape rope really quick here. Uh, I think we had one from, like, way, way, way back in the beginning. Maybe? Yes. Look at that. I think we bought one. I'm so glad we did that. Okay. So, uh, let's take the opportunity also to heal up. Uh, but first, let's pick up some repels. See what we can get. Can we please get some repels? Yes, max repels. Uh, some of you may be saying this is a waste of money. Others of you may be saying, thank goodness you're doing this, finally. I'm gonna go with the thank goodness we're doing this plan, because I... I'm not training on these Pokemon right now, uh, and it just, it saves so much time to be able to repel everything. 
It just saves so much time. Um, all right. Cool. We hope to see you again. That's very rude. All right. Let's do this, guys. We, we, I think we can do a good bit. Now that we got the repels, I feel like we could probably, like, make it a good, a good portion of the way through. We may not, not get all the way through, but max repel. Let's do it. We must have... No, I guess we didn't have one. All right, let's go up these stairs. All right. Uh, let's explore a bit. We'll fight this guy. It's fine. All right. Uh, I do have, again, I, I keep bringing guides up just to be safe. Um, and that way we've got some direction in case we just completely get lost. I'm just going to explore a bit this episode. I'm not going to worry too much about, um, like, finishing the Haunted Mansion area. But... Uh, I say the Haunted Mansion, it's just called the Pokemon Mansion, but I like Haunted Mansion better. <laughs> uh, a Waylord, wow. Uh, George, let's try, let's try a Thunder. Let's hope it doesn't miss. Let's save some time, George, can we do it? Oh, George is my hero. I love George. All right. <laughs> Awesome. Super effective. One-shotting a Waylord. That's a good feeling. Get that out of there. All right. Cool. Well, the plot continues. Let's, uh, let's just explore. Let's just see what we can do. There's a little item here. An Unmax Ether. Ether? Ether? It's one of those. I don't know. All right, let's go up here. That's the stairs. The journal, I think. Yeah, there's the journal. Uh, Guyana? South America? Ghana. Oh well. Pego was discovered deep in the jungle. Alright, cool. Item? A charcoal. That? Okay, uh, really quick. Let's give that to... Come on. Oh wait, we have Sacred Ash. Oh wait, no. Just kidding. I thought that did something completely different. All right, let's give this to Crimson, uh, just to give it a little bit more firepower. Uh, and let's see what we can do. So we do have the little uh, the little puzzle that we have in this one is interesting to say the least. So we'll we'll kind of work our way back down probably. Repels effect wore off. Well, let's use another one. Um, Saves so much time, I love it. Uh, do, do, do. If I can find it, come on, there we go, yes. All right, cool. An energy powder, not the best items. I was kind of hoping for some better stuff, but that's okay. Uh, we've already gotten a Master Ball. We can't ask for much more, can we? All right, so go down here. So this is where we fall down, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think that's correct, yeah. A Swampert. The Bane of Existence. Uh, Shadow Ball. Let's get it out of here. Can we one-shot? Oh, so close. Uh, I'll just Nightshade it. We'll just make it easy. Uh, we could have also knocked off, I guess, but this is fine. This is just guarantee. Get it out of here. All right. Perfect. A Latias. Uh. Little scary. Um. I don't remember the typings. I'm gonna overheat with uh, Crimson here. For some reason, I feel like it's Steel type, and I might be very wrong. Um. But we'll see. If not, it should be fine either way. Okay. Well, that was just completely wrong but it's fine it was a crit crimson just coming through i like it <laughs> that charcoal coming in clutch all right i misread entirely uh but that's fine we could have just gone for the the safe bet but what's the fun in that uh let's go into tommy here safer bet would have been jolteon i think but uh tommy's quad effective against this thing so using endure Clever. All right. Wow. Tommy is amazing. <laughs> Tommy is so good. All right. Uh, we just do it again. Easy enough. 
Man, I really like Tommy. I am amazed at Tommy because I'll be honest, I didn't... Ludicolo is one of those Pokemon you think of in a very silly fashion. Uh, at least I do. Uh, and I just think that's hilarious. So let's go down here. Get this item. Uh, Alright, come up here. I think... Whoops, there we go. Wrong. Wrong. Alright, this way. I think we're supposed to jump off of this balcony, but I'm not sure. I'm, like, not super trying to progress, but I do kind of want to... Okay, we're just back here. Um, where is... There's this. A secret switch. Press it. Who wouldn't? All right. Uh, where does this take us? I guess we, uh, we just went up there. That shut that off. Repels effect wore off. Okay. Um, I'm not remembering where to go very well, but that's okay. Uh, I think there's a journal entry down here, all the way down here, maybe? There is, but we can't get to it. Uh, we really don't have to get to it, but... There's one. Mew gave birth. Alright, that's exciting. A zinc. Bag is too full. That's fine, we'll leave it. We don't really need it. Uh, zinc isn't bad, but... Alright, let's see, let's see. Whoops, nope. Uh, flip the switch, climb in the northwest room. Uh, trying to remember the way through. Okay. Flip this switch. Jump down the large balcony. Okay. Oh good, we can just skip that too. Uh, let's see what this is. A smoke ball. Uh, not gonna worry about it. Alright. Go up there. Do, do, do. Okay. So we're actually, like, pretty close to, to done here. Uh, that leads us out, which is great. We need to go here to the basement. I'm gonna keep using these repels. I just... If, if, if we can get out of this in this episode, like, that's amazing. Uh, so let's try and do that. Let's fight you really quick. Um, that'd be awesome. That would be very much ahead, because then we can just Cinnabar Island and then head up to Viridian uh, after the fact. That'd be great. That'd be so great. Whoa, faster? Okay. Didn't, I mean, I assumed it would be fast, but I didn't think it'd be faster than a level 55. Maybe that was just my, my misjudgment, but that's okay. All right, level 56, Parish coming in clutch. We do need to swap out and uh, train some other stuff here, I think, but let's get George in here. Um, I really like our team. I'm kind of thinking as great as it would to be, to have a Lugia on the team. Thank you, George. Uh, I'm kind of thinking we leave it off the team for now. Um, as much as I want to use it, I think using a legendary in a lock is like, unless you get it super early and it's like with you throughout the whole thing, I feel like it's a little cheaty. Um, maybe that's incorrect. I don't know. But let's, before we hit any switches, let's, uh, don't want a sunstone. Just don't care about a sunstone, to be honest. All right. So we do need to hit this switch. Which should let us get out here. And then push us into here, which is what we want. Just avoid that fight altogether. That's good. Okay. <laughs> uh, get this. TM7. Hail. Uh, not a very great TM, if I'm honest. But that's okay. Hit this switch. Propels effect. Oh, man. I went two steps. Two steps. Oh, Tapia. Sad day. Oh, I miss Tapia. All right. Got away safely. I like it. Let's uh, let's repel one more time. This might take us to the end, guys. We are just chugging through. I love it. Uh, get this. Found the secret key. Look at that. Uh, and then what's this? TM18 Rain Dance. Well, that's helpful. Uh, as someone pointed out with uh, Jolteon, it can be very helpful. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, man. Alright, well, 
one fight and that should be the end of it we should be able to get out of here and guys this is gonna wrap up the episode this has been like a very encounter heavy episode and unexpectedly productive uh i really did not think we'd get all the way through this but i'm happy we did save time in the next one right i kind of rushed through the pokemon mansion i didn't do all the journal entries and stuff like that but if you guys have seen any amount of nuzlocks at this point i think you know what to expect there so i'm not really worried about it uh Dude, let's go to church. Let's take him to church. Is it a uh, imposter ditto? That'd be pretty cool. It's not, but that'd be awesome. Uh, let's, I guess, crunch. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. I want to get church leveled up. I really want to get church leveled up. Because I absolutely want to use church uh, as a Tyranitar. Like, 100% that's on the docket. Uh, so what we probably will do, in fact, I don't know for sure, but in between episodes, what we might do is go back on Route 20, clear out just a few of those trainers uh, to see if we can just get them, get them leveled up a slight bit here. Uh, who wouldn't? I would. And I don't know. All right, let's do this. Oh, the... I hate that. That's so annoying. I know what. Hmm. That's so stupid. <laughs> All you have to do is flip this other switch, and I always forget to do that. I have played this game so much, uh, and yet I still can't get through like Seafoam Islands and stuff. But, oh, so pain, so pain. All right. Yeah, I will use a Max Repel really quick. All right. We did it, guys. We got the secret key. We can unlock Blaine's gym. And we can go for the gold, guys. That's gym badge number seven that we will be hopefully obtaining in our next episode. But guys, thank you so much for being here for this one. Uh, thank you for all the new encounters. I'm so excited. Uh, please make sure to share this series. That's one thing I haven't been asking about. Um, I know you guys have been doing a great job of liking, commenting, like staying active and that kind of thing. Share it. That would be amazing. I know that's asking a lot of you guys, but let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we should, can share this out, get some more viewership, and make sure that we're pushing this series because it's a fun one. So guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you in the next episode.